Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this old Dell Optflex 9090 into a decent gaming rig. So for graphics, I went with a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. With this graphics card, I will not need to upgrade the power supply unit. I have eight gigs of RAM here, ready to go. I have a 240 gig SSD Kingston to run the operating system. Or a can of black spray paint, just to touch up the outside of the case, if I so desire. I have a two terabyte Western Digital Black Edition hard drive, just for the gaming storage. And for aesthetics, I am going with these little blue LED fans. Two of them, um, it's gonna give it more of that gamer feel. And in addition to the aesthetics, I'm going to cut out a U-shape window here that's going to go on the side of the case. So that's going to probably be one of the more challenging parts of this project. And I will tell you, even though this is kind of a thinner metal, when you're using something like a $50 Dremel tool from Home Depot, it's not exactly going to cut through that like butter. And it's loud as hell. So don't be doing this at 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. unless you really want to piss your neighbors off. That brings me to my next safety equipment. I am a safety, I'm an advocate for safety. I don't want y'all getting hurt out there. So please take these into consideration and use it. Here are some Bose headphones, but I'm gonna use these for ear protection because I will tell you this thing is loud as hell. Why am I using Bose headphones for ear protection and not proper headphones? Well, I didn't feel like going to Home Depot and I don't have any on hand. So you could use earplugs, uh, just protect your ears because it's going to take a while to cut through this metal so that's even worse it's over a prolonged period of time it's not going to be good on your ears got some gloves here gloves are always good for you know uh, not cutting your fingers it's going to be a little bit of shards of metal flying around so that's why you're going to need some safety glasses there's going to be sparks flying i have some gorilla glue some clear gorilla glue that i'm going to be using to bond this acrylic panel that I bought from Home Depot for about 15 bucks. I got a ruler, a washable eraser marker so we can make some lines and draw out what we're gonna cut. Your standard Phillips uh, screwdriver and a flathead. And I also have a uh, face mask. So again, you don't wanna be sniffing up those shards of metal or anything. So yeah, wear a mask. Um, also, I think that is about it, but um, one thing of note, when you cut out the U shape on this panel, we'll be going over that, but it's going to need to be smaller than your acrylic piece because you're going to need a little bit of overlap so you can put the glue and bond it to the metal panel. Um, you can use a hot glue gun, I believe, you could, heck, you could probably even use double sided tape. Um, I'm going to probably stick with the Gorilla Glue for now, but without any further ado, I think that is about it. Let's jump straight into this. So here's what the final cutout is going to look like. Alright guys, got a couple challenges going on here. Ran into a couple snaggy snags. One, I can't get this fan off because I don't have the proper length screwdriver to get it out. The other challenge is that my little blue LED fans that I picked up, they don't have any connector headers on this board. Now, 
I have a hunch that I could still use these headers. But what I'll have to do is maybe take like a utility knife and cut the plastic. And then the way I'm going to get these bolts out, since I'm going to be replacing these fans anyways, unfortunately I'm going to have to damage the fans. Oh my god, I'm gonna be back in the same boat <laughs> where I can't get through the... How am I supposed to put those screws in? So, <clears throat> what I ended up doing was I found this guy. Saved the day. As you can see, it fits through. And it's not a Phillips, but it was still the right fit for me to turn that screw and get it in there snug enough. So, that worked out. Both of the headers for these fans is a 5-pin. The headers, or the connector for the LED blue fans is a 4-pin, and it's a lot blockier, so it did not fit in that plastic bracket, so I had to tear down the whole plastic bracket, and that was pretty tricky. Um, it's probably a little easier, or a lot easier, if you pop the whole board out. I didn't feel like doing that, and it came out pretty clean, so... The way I did it, I used some needle nose pliers, I used some cutters, or some snips, and then I even used a sharp, skinny little flathead to essentially um, chisel away some of the leftover plastic so that th this header will sit flush onto the header. Weird. Hmm. Oh, man. I can't have it backwards. So take note on that guys. If you hook up your connector backwards, yes, it's the fan's not gonna power on. <laughs> 